Hello everyone, I'm back again with another short video to clear up a few more things. In this case what I'm trying to clarify is what you need to do with your homework files and how to set up what's referred to as a subdomain. I referenced this probably one time in class very early on and I apologize that I have not gone back to this topic. What I'm going to do is I'm logging into a student's account so that it will be similar or identical to your account in the way the interface looks. So let's go ahead and log in. This student has been as kind as uh, it's Sarah has been as kind as to supply me with her login name and password. So what we want to do is have a place where you'll be able to supply your homework on the internet from this point on and what this does is it gives the opportunity for you to FTP or using FileZilla FTP file transfer protocol your files over to the website on a weekly basis why would I want you to do that instead of just supplying me with the files here's why repetition will help it sink in and the routine steps of setting up a web page. So, for those of you that are that are serious about it, or think you may be, after doing this throughout the rest of the semester, it will be it, it will stick with you. So, the first thing we want to do is we want to go to manage domains. That's director. It's under domains or you can go to the top and go straight to domains and then there will be a manage domains option so let's go ahead and click here now that the page is showing on the screen it shows the domain name and it shows the destination it's the included domain meaning included with the payment of the hosting so let's check the box here, or let, let's just see this, what this yellow thing is. Okay, it looks like Sarah has set up a homework site. However, not everything is correct yet. So let's go to subdomain overview. I'm going to show you how to set one up as she did, and then how to make sure that everything functions properly. She did it almost 100% correct. Right here you have the option new subdomain right directly under subdomain overview. Click on that create subdomain as fully spelling out homework. Okay that subdomain has been created. However notice here homework.sweetserendipity.net has the destination of web space slash dot that means it's the root the root is the bottom line that's where you're putting all your files there are no folders well well what happens if hw seren sweet serendipity dot net has the same location and the website sweet serendipity dot net has the same location. What happens is that if you move files to any one of these three, those files will appear on all three. That's not what you want to do, obviously. You're wanting to make these so that they are separate sites. So, so when, since Sarah has already set up this one, I'll check the box and we want to change the destination. In order to change the destination, we go to the subdomain settings and go to edit destination. Under edit destination, it gives us the option to create a directory. A directory is where the files will go for this specific site which is hw.sweetserendipity.net create directory 
Let's name that HW. And press enter. And it says, are you sure you want to create a directory? Yes, I am. And save. Yes, I want to continue. Let's go back. Let's check everything when we go back and look at the destinations and make sure they're correct. HW sweet serendipity.net space slash HW. That's correct. This one, I did not change the subdomain, uh, or the directory that is. So I would have to go to subdomain overview again and then change that and make it homework. However, that's kind of redundant because she doesn't really need two that are homework related. So what I will do is I'll go here, trash can right over here, delete that subdomain with the word homework as the prefix. It's deleted. Deleting. And that's what that means with the I in the status. This subdomain has been deleted from your package. So I'm opening FileZilla, File, Site Manager, Sarah, Connect, and we are in. We have HW, we have a new node. New node shouldn't have anything in it, and it doesn't. When you double click to get back, you go, you double click the double dots. So I'm going to get rid of new node. Right click and delete. Styles. There's actually stuff in styles. So we're going to leave it alone. Styles has to be there because of these pages. What you need to do when you are uploading your homework then is this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take index and put it in the homework folder. I'll remove it. I just want to show you what exactly what happens. That one goes over there. Now within the index it's referring to my CSS file that's in the styles. Well instead of taking open this and taking the CSS file over there I want the whole folder because in my HTML it says that it's going to be found in a folder called styles images let's go ahead and move images and JavaScript and mobile and speakers over there my dim the reason for this demonstration is to show you that after you've created a subdomain and you have moved the files into this and as usual following the rule that you must have an index file then it will show up by just typing in hw dot sweet serendipity dot net in the case in this case because that's the name of her page. Let's go to it. Let's see what we have now. Hw dot sweet serendipity dot I hope I spelled it right. Well, that's correct. To a degree, it's not correct in the sense of what I told it to do. this file, this index file, should be the one that's showing up. So, if that happens to you, how do you know what's going on? My guess is that index, this the root index is pointing to the HW folder. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, this one is pointing to the right place. So we have to create new subdomain homework doesn't exist anymore it's only there at from memory 
So I'm going to call this one sample. We check the box. We go to sub subdomain settings, edit destination. Every time you edit destination, always look here. Make sure it has the name that you're looking that you intend on changing. Create a directory and name it in this case. sample. Yes, I want to create this directory. Save. Yes. I am sure I want to do this. Now back with FileZilla. And there's this folder called sample now. Now sample has everything in it that HW has everything in it that we wanted in sample. So let's go to th this one, select all these, and we can just drag them right up to sample. Boom, done. Look in sample to make sure they're there. There they are. Sample dot Sarah dot net. That's what I was going for. Now this is a homework assignment that's, that's down the road. Um, the, as you can see, your links are up here at the top now. The, um, a lot of things that you have done in previous chapters are already completed. Here. You go to speakers and you have a page of speakers. As you go to each one, they show up. Um, there's the, the carousel so that you can do this slideshow do the slideshow of each of these font and geolocation and see what it shows me so I'm going to refresh it and here's what it does it that is my address that's exactly where I'm located right now that's my home address I live on Greendale Drive Northeast just as this tells me so there's a lot of things that that we, that are coming up. Completed process of going in to your accounts. Make sure that whatever you put in any subdomain folder, it must have an index file. Okay, you are done. Uh, if you have any difficulties or you're not quite sure why something is not showing up the way it should. Do not hesitate to call on me. I will give you part of Monday night's class to do um, some final steps if you have any difficulties. However, I expect you to have your pages completed. If I'm going to assist you and give you the time to do that in class, you have to come to class with the completed files ready. I am just showing you this in case you want, you are like people like Sarah and others that want to upload your files and be done and then submit them to Moodle. That's all I have. You have a good weekend.